Hello, I'm Carol Vorderman, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to the world of the new Corsa, and a very exciting world it is. <laughs> is chic and fashionable and a desirable possession for any and every driver. But Corsa's beauty isn't just skin deep. It also has a remarkably comprehensive specification that's very unusual for a compact car. There are three vital areas where it really scores. Class leading safety. Seat belt tensioners, side impact bars, reinforced body shell and even optional airbags throughout the range at the end of the year are very strong evidence of Corsa's lead in this area. Interior space. Corsa has the exterior of a compact and the interior of a big car. Every interior dimension is close to or at the top of its class. And security. Remote display radio stereo, deadlocks and an alarm with immobiliser bring a new level of anti-theft features to the compact sector. Corsa is a car designed for the world, with such a divergent appeal that it has something to offer absolutely everyone. As a result, this latest Vauxhall entrant is most definitely going to be some very bad news for the opposition. So let's find out what makes Corsa so special. It's these benefits, after all, which will give you and no one else that very important sale. The first crucial thing about Corsa is that it is a totally new model. It's designed to answer all the additional needs of today's sophisticated small car enthusiast. And in this respect, it's revolutionary, not evolutionary. Corsa also, however, benefits directly from all the proven big car technology that's been developed through Senata, Carlton, Cavalier and Astra. And in this respect, it's evolutionary, not revolutionary. All the best, in fact, of the old and a remarkable amount of the new. Secondly, Corsa doesn't offer a range of body shapes like the Astra. Effectively, it offers two very distinctive designs, the three-door hatch and the five-door hatch. The two styles, although they're quite different, have a lot in common. Both are remarkably spacious. Both share the same floor pan and similar eye-catching stylish flair. And both offer generous safety, security and environmental features, which in total are unique to a car in this class. Otherwise, each has its own identity and each is designed to appeal to quite different buyers. Stylish and a fun-to-drive compact car was the design brief for the three-door. It's very much a lifestyle car, young at heart with a smooth, friendly and highly fashionable shape. Modern, streamlined, futuristic, bold, innovative and sporty are just some of the reactions to this design. This car appeals to both sexes, to the young driver, the sporty driver, second car buyers and anyone who appreciates performance with style and emotional appeal with superb design. The five-door variant, with its additional rear quarter lights, distinct tailgate and higher roofline, not only looks different, it's designed to appeal to a different buyer. This is the more practical model, probably a family's main car, with the emphasis on flexible accommodation and good load carrying capacity, ideal, for example, for holidays. Families, drivers needing generous passenger and luggage space, and the more mature driver who wants a big car feel and high levels of comfort even in a compact car, these will be your five-door customers. So, two different body styles for two different markets, and a range of variants to suit every taste. Eight five-door hatches, nine three-door hatches, six trim levels, 
four gearboxes, including soon a four-speed automatic, seven engines, and all with new features reserved up until now for the bigger and more expensive car market. Entry level is, of course, the Merit. Available with three or five doors and with three engine choices, including the brand new 1.2i E-Drive. The Merit is designed for the budget conscious who still want a good car for their money. And they get it with standard features such as side impact bars, seat belt tensioners, air recirculation system and a pollen filter. The LS, the volume model, is also available in three and five door variants and also comes with three engine choices, including the 1.4 high torque and the fashionable 1.5 turbo diesel. Again, it's comprehensively specced with a five speed gearbox, split rear seat and for this level, unexpected factory fit options such as ABS, power steering and deadlock central locking. The GLS is a five-door variant only, but comes with a choice of 1.2i and 1.4i 82 PS petrol engines or the 1.5 turbo diesel. All models are spacious and comfortable, with driver's seat height adjusters and central deadlocking for convenience. A most unusual feature for this class is power steering. This is standard on the 1.4i petrol and 1.5 turbo diesel and is a strong selling point. This fashionable three-door flare will appeal to owners who are on the lookout for chic performance. With colour-coded controls and dials, snazzy upholstery and the powerful 1.4 high-torque performance engine, this is a distinctive choice for the young at heart. The three-door SRI with its 1.4i 82 PS petrol engine has a distinctive and completely specific identity, both outside and in. Top of the range, of course, is the three-door GSI 16 valve. With its top speed of 119 miles an hour, its 16 valve engine, colour keyed exterior, alloy wheels, ABS, power steering and factory fitted alarm with immobiliser, it not only has head turning looks but head turning features as well. Low running costs, particularly now fuel is so expensive, are among the major reasons for buying a small car. All of Corsa's engines are efficient in this field and they're also environmentally responsive. Five of the power units, the 1.2i, the 1.4i high torque, the 1.4i 82 PS and the 1.5 diesel and turbo diesel you already know about. Two, the environmentally conscious 1.2i E-Drive and the high performance 1.6i 16 valve are however quite new. The E-Drive is a special economy and emissions unit that has been developed to meet ever more pressing environmental needs. This engine, with its changed compression ratio from the previous 1.2i, is designed to reduce emissions, and particularly carbon dioxide, whilst maximising fuel efficiency. It's designed particularly for economy-minded customers, and at present is available only on the three-door, five-speed Merit. The other new engine is the GSI's double overhead cam 1.6i 16 valve. What this engine does is to deliver useful torque and power across the widest possible rev band, giving strong acceleration in every gear and making for a far more pleasant drive. Despite this flexibility, the new 16 valve still provides effortless high-speed cruising and remarkable high-speed performance. And compared to the 8-valve 1.6i unit, the 16-valve engine delivers more power more torque, better fuel consumption and faster acceleration from 0 to 62 miles per hour. These two new engines are only a tiny part of what is new about the range. Corsa, in fact, is very different indeed to its predecessor and this is why the model has a new name. It is not a revamped existing model, it is not an updated version, however successful the original has been, what it is, is a completely new concept. 
and the new name will help you and your customers to think of it always in that way. Think Corsa, think new. Corsa has been designed throughout with tremendous attention to both inbuilt and expressive quality. In this car, you can actually see, hear and feel it. The result? Quite apart from the important prime features like the separate MFD panel and side impact bars, there's also attention to small detail. For example, many models have a storage drawer under the front passenger seat to store valuables out of sight. For comfort, the rear seat in most models can be adjusted for rake as well as split. And for convenience, there are bright colour-keyed caps under the bonnet for easy identification and to make regular home maintenance easier. Corsa is obviously a terrific buy. Even so, it's worth remembering always that the sale of the car is just the beginning. We now know that the best time to sell both factory and dealer fit options is at the moment of purchase, when customers are delighted with their choice and in a buying mood. This is especially true if it's explained to them that any additional purchases can be added directly to the new car's price and deferred over the same finance period. And this of course means more revenue for you, which is even more important today. They should never be seen as features that the product lacks, but as additional benefits which many other manufacturers do not even think of offering. Remember, you're not just selling a vehicle, but a complete approach to a customer's lifestyle. And for that reason, good accessories knowledge is essential. Another Corsa design principle is to provide high technology at affordable prices. From its range of engines to suit every purpose, to its safety, security and environmental features, and of course the high-tech GSI, the Corsa offers affordable technology at a level unmatched by the competition. It's all these features together that make the Corsa a real driver's car, environmentally responsive and exciting, safe and fun to drive. But just saying this is not enough. Today, people need to see it for themselves. And that is what we're going to do now. We've chosen the three-door LS because it will be the volume model, and we'll also be looking at the five-door 1.4 GLS to show the differences between the two body styles. And as always, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. We'll see how our star cars stack up against the models you're most likely to find you're competing against. Versus our three-door LS is the Peugeot 106 1.1 iXR and the Rover Metro 1.1 L. And against our five-door GLS, we'll be comparing the Renault Clio 1.4 RT and the Ford Fiesta Gear 1.3i. OK? Contestants ready, competitors ready, then we'll begin. It's at the wraparound front end, epitomised by these sinuous practical bumpers, that Corsa's distinctive styling starts. Strong but streamlined, it's very much new generation Vauxhall, with a slim grille, neat badging insert and complementary slim lozenge-shaped lights. The Corsa designers set out to give these cars strong emotional appeal gentle curves, wheels located at the extreme corners of the vehicle and the glass line flowing into the sleek metal make both the three and five door variants tremendously attractive. And each of these features has a matching practical benefit. Smooth, gentle curves, for example, mean greater third party safety. The outplaced wheels, more interior space and the increased glassed area, more visibility. Beauty, of course, is always in the eye of the beholder, and all our competitors here also value their looks. Nevertheless, against the rest, both the Fiesta and the Metro look distinctly boxy, and perhaps a little 1980s. The Fiesta is a relatively new model, so this is surprising. 
The Metro is more understandable because it's 12 years old and has always had the reputation for being a sensible car. There's nothing wrong, of course, in being sensible, and sense with style sums up Corsa beautifully. Headlamps use the latest halogen bulbs for throw and longevity and are unique in design, sweeping uninterruptedly into the car's distinctive raised front wings. Electric headlamp levelling is standard, which means that straight away Corsa is off into the lead. Not one of our competitors offers this feature. At first glance, it looks as if the designers have actually forgotten the indicators. In fact, they're integrated into the main unit. And this clear lens and the curved design allows them to be clearly visible from the side as well as the front of the car. Even the bumper mouldings are special. Smoothly integrated into the general design, they extend to the wheel cutouts and again, uniquely in this class, round the top of the wheel arches to provide side protection from bumps and scrapes. Overall, the front impression is one of strength as well as sophistication. With a highly creditable performance against the competition, Corsa is a good and economical workhorse, as well as having real zip when it's needed. It's relevant here that drivers no longer rate a highly illegal top speed and massive engine strength, which they'll probably never use, so much as style, specification and certain technical features like deadlock central locking, power steering and automatic transmissions. This is where Corsa really scores, in the features and interior space it provides. Against any of the competition, Corsa looks and is extremely generous. From 1994 model year, Corsa will offer a four-speed, three-mode, computer-controlled automatic transmission, a variant of the unit that's been so successful in every other recent Vauxhall passenger car. Power-assisted steering is standard on this 82 PS GLS. It's not available in any form on the Fiesta, and on this Clio it's only offered as a cost-plus option. The Corsa LS also offers power steering as an option on the 1.4i and 1.5 turbo diesel. But its competitors, the 106 and the Metro here, like the Fiesta, do not offer the feature at all. ABS, standard on the GSI, is offered as an option throughout the Corsa range from LS upwards. Again, it's unavailable except as an extra cost option on the Fiesta gear on any of the competitives at these levels. The result has to be that Corsa is not just more safety conscious, but more driver aware than the competition and provides at every level more than expected. As with all other Vauxhalls, Corsa's service intervals for petrol engines are 9,000 miles or 12 months, with no need for an early first checkup. The result, and it's one that's very important nowadays, is that Corsa costs less, yet again, to run. In profile, the new Corsa's modern curves and wedge shape are reminiscent of the Astra. Every feature is designed to complement the whole. Even these smart little oval indicators, for example, have been specially sculptured to echo the overall look of the front of the car. Corsa, for its class, is actually quite a tall car, and occupant comfort and visibility both benefit as a direct result. Door access, for example, is amongst the easiest in the segment because of this, and also because they're cut high into the roof line. You tend to forget how tall the car is, however, because clever styling creates an impression of low-line sleekness. These front doors conceal a most unusual feature for the affordable market.
Specially reinforced side impact bars, first launched with the Astra, provide extra protection in side collisions. Another Corsa advance over much of the competition is in the model's large glass area and its very narrow A, B and C pillars. This doesn't just accentuate the sleek outline of the car, visibility is also superb, which of course in itself is a major contribution to overall safety. It's when you put the three and five door in profile together that you can see most clearly how different they are. Up to here, they share the same body. From this point back, their side panels, roofs and tailgates and their overall look is completely different. Three doors, five doors, that much is obvious. But it's not quite so obvious that the five door has an additional quarter light, giving it a six window design in place of the three doors extended, unbroken rear window line. The doors, of course, are bigger on the three door variants to allow access to the back seat from the front. With less doors to accommodate, the three doors roof peaks over the B pillar and then curves smoothly down to a less sharply angled rear. The roof line of the five door extends back to an almost vertical tailgate to provide a combination of rear passenger space and rear load capacity that's best in class. Both models then come together again with identical Calibra style upmarket aerial and close style rear screen wash wipe. On both models, the tailgate opens right down to the bumpers for easy loading, and its design is echoed by the new curvaceous high intensity rear lights. Big style, big space. Both are very big factors in the success of small cars. And here, Corsa has been extremely successful. Corsa's boot space is only beaten by Clio's, which is all the more remarkable because of the superb legroom in Corsa's cabin. The exterior dimensions have hardly changed, but as we'll see later, passenger space has increased dramatically in every way to equal best in class and to be superior to most of the competition. To accommodate awkward items, a 60-40 split folding rear seat is standard on the LS and GLS. As we have all become more security conscious, more and more drivers are asking for central locking and dead locking. Traditionally, however, they have always been seen as features associated with more expensive cars, until now. This five-door GLS, for example, offers central locking as standard, as do the Clio RT and the Fiesta Gear. Neither the Ford nor the Renault, however, offer Corsa's additional deadlocking function, which is essentially the same as on the larger Vauxhall models. In vehicle security, of course, Vauxhall has been the class leader for some years. Deadlocking is one aspect, and so is a good alarm. The GSI has an advanced system which works in conjunction with the deadlock central locking circuit and includes an immobiliser. Exactly the same alarm is available as an option on all other cars in the range. Again, a very sophisticated feature and one that is most unusual at this level. Inside the car, lockable glove boxes are standard from LS upwards and the tray under the front passenger seat is also ideal for hiding possessions. It's the radio, however, that is the traditional target for the impulse thief, and here Corsa has borrowed class-leading security technology from the Astra. Radios in the Corsa not only have security coding, but also an Astra-style separate alphanumeric MFD panel. Because this displays essential program information, even though the main audio unit can be operated without it, it is virtually useless and therefore of little value to a thief. The audio unit itself is a high quality six speaker radio cassette. 
The unit here, and those on all models above LS, has the latest radio data system features, including automatic tuning to the strongest signal, automatic input traffic information if this is required, and enhanced other networks. Other class-leading features in the Corsa throughout the range include a four-speed heating and ventilation system with pollen filter. This is based upon Astra's and incorporates air recirculation, which replaces the hot cabin atmosphere with cool, fresh air, particularly useful in heavy, stifling traffic. Select Demist and all except the windscreen vents close automatically, ensuring the shortest possible clearing time. Another big safety plus for the Corsa. Smart, young, cheerful, modern and efficient, the linking theme of the interior is ergonomic design and space. And it's here that the Corsa really scores. By moving the windscreen forward by over a massive seven inches, and by extending the wheelbase, length, height and width of the car, almost without altering the external dimensions, the designers have created a cabin that is top, or towards the top of the class in every respect. You cannot stress enough to your customers that the Corsa is a remarkably spacious car. For many people, this will be its main appeal. The cabin is light and airy with plenty of storage space. Headroom, shoulder room, hip room and leg room are very generous, particularly in the back, so much so that two tall passengers can travel comfortably in the rear on even long journeys. In almost every interior dimension, Corsa is better than any of its competitors here. And it's not only spacious, it's quiet, because good sound insulation has been a major design objective. The trim is more cheerful than ever before. There's a high driving position for better visibility, and the cockpit layout is designed for minimum eyes off road time. There are seat height adjusters above LS, and the supportive dual foam car seat design, so successful in Astra and Cavalier, is now standard throughout as are anti-submarining ramps for safety. In all Vauxhall design, safety is a prime consideration. Safety provision in the Corsa is truly remarkable and is far ahead of any of the competition. Quite apart from the standard side impact bars, there are anti-burst and anti-jam lock mechanisms, sadly lacking even on some of the most high-tech of the competition. Open type head restraints, collapsible steering wheels, fully adjustable front and rear seat belts, reinforced passenger cells and big car crumple zones, all as standard. It's not so much that these features individually are unexpected in such a small car, it's that together they are quite remarkable. And that is certainly so for drivers' airbags. These will be available as an option throughout the range before the end of the year and will protect the driver from the steering wheel, the major cause of injury in an accident. And there is another breakthrough. For the first time in this class, front seatbelt tensioners, which lock onto the body on frontal impact and have shown a 20% reduction in head and chest injuries, they are standard throughout the range. Corsa is the only car in its class to feature both side impact bars and this body lock restraint system. No wonder it has already been dubbed the safest small car in Europe. So what does all this add up to? Obviously, a superbly specced car designed directly for its users and providing them with far more overall than anyone has expected before at this level. Stress to your customers that where Corsa leads is in the all-round package it provides. Taking everything together, design, safety, interior space, security and specification, this car is the class beater. And of course, it is a Vauxhall, which means that not only is there the comprehensive Vauxhall dealer network for support, but parts and accessories are very competitive against the models here.
Your customers will only really appreciate this remarkable car when they take it out for a test drive. Take one out yourself and take the time to find out what makes it so very special. When you do, we know you'll also find that Corsa will prove to be a real sales plus. As a start, we'll leave you with a summary of the Corsa's main benefits. So, good luck, good selling, good driving, especially in a Corsa, and goodbye. this studio today to look at a brand new model just introduced into this sector. This also promotes itself on safety grounds as well as build refinement and economy. The UK manufactured Nissan Micra. This is the car that your customers may compare the Corsa against. So how do the two competitors stack up against each other? Firstly, styling. Some road reports allude to the blandness and boxiness of the new Micra, and this is particularly obvious against the curvaceous new Corsa. At 1196cc, the Corsa's engine is larger than the Micra's 16-valve 998cc. But in terms of performance and economy, the two models are comparable. But in fact, the Micra is not sold on these factors. What it is sold on is safety, build quality, space, and its class-leading specification and features. But good as these undeniably are, Micra offers very little that is not available on the Corsa, while Corsa is superior in many respects. Build quality, for example, which is heavily promoted for the Micra, is also excellent on Corsa. And as far as safety is concerned, both cars offer side impact bars, height adjustable front seat belts, crumple zones, and a high driving position for excellent visibility. In addition to these features, however, Corsa offers, uniquely to this class, the body lock restraint system and by the year end, airbags. It also has a driver's seat height adjuster and height adjustable rear seat belts all features which are unavailable on Micra. Micra is also promoted as being the only Super Mini on which a full four-channel, four-sensor, all-round disc brake anti-lock system is available as an option. This feature, however, will also be available on the Corsa, both as standard on the GSI and as an option on all other models except Merit. And the Corsa also offers standard headlamp levelling, very important for safety and not available at all on the Micra. In security terms, the Micra offers none of the Corsa's class-leading features, such as the remote display stereo, the award-winning dead locking, or the factory-fitted alarm with a mobiliser. Stress these features to your customers because they are tremendously strong selling points for the Corsa. Altogether, Micra and Corsa are both superb cars and will lead the Super Mini advance. And both can be regarded as worthy contenders for the prestigious title of class leader in this very important sector. In very many ways, however, the Corsa will be the better buy. But unless your customers are fully aware of the comprehensive package that Corsa offers, including its excellent safety and security features and remarkable interior space, they will not appreciate just how good the Vauxhall is. And that's your job. So it's up to you.